Welcome back. And uh, in the last video, we set up our project and we are ready to get started on making a fretboard. Uh, and the first thing I want to do is uh, let me remove this stuff first. I don't need any of this stuff to begin with. And also the hello here. Let me move that and save it. I'm going to add a lot of JavaScript and styles later on. But first, we want to go to our HTML and, uh, and add some stuff here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so it's easier for you guys to see what's going on. And let's start by making a div just inside the body and give it a class of fretboard. And this is where we will keep our fretboard. So first I want to make a string. So let me show you guys what I mean. So we're going to make six strings and then inside every string we're going to make a fret and then we're going to stitch it together later. Um, so let's see how we do that. First, I want to make a string. So I'm going to make a div with a class of string. And inside this, I'm going to make a fret for every single string that we have. So this is the first string. This is the, the E string and the high E string on the guitar. So let's make a div in here. Let's give it a class of, let's call it note string. So this will represent the whole string. And inside the string, this is the first fret or the zeroth fret, if you will. So let's just take this here. Let's copy it. And let's say we want 12 frets, including or plus the, the zeroth fret. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And we need one more, 13. And then we have basically, like we have here, let's go down to 12 frets. So now we created the first string. This is a fret zero. Um, and then all the way up to the 12th fret right here. We're going to do that with the other strings as well. And I'm just going to take this. I'm going to copy it. I'm just going to make five more of these. So one, two, three four and five. I'm going to save that. So now we have six strings, each with a class of string. And inside every string, we have 12 frets or 13 frets because we're using number zero as well. Let's go. I'm going to close down this and I'm going to open up the styles. We want to make some basic styles here first. Uh, first of all, I'm just going to reset some margins. So I'm going to go all select everything. And I'm just going to give it margin zero and padding zero. And I'm going to import a font. I'm just going to copy and paste something I already have here just to import this Lato font because uh, I like to use that. We're going to use that for having the, the name of the notes inside the dots when we hover over it. That's way later in this tutorial. So let's style the body first. And let's make it a background of something like this. And let's specify the font family. And that was Lato. And let's fall it back to Saucer like this. I'm going to target the fretboard. Remember, we have the container, the div containing the fretboard. So let's do something here. First of all, we want to display it as as flex. Because that makes it pretty easy for us to arrange all of the, the different strings and frets and, and everything. And then I want it to be the direction of, I want it to be a column. So flex direction is column. And I think I forgot something. That's better. Uh, because then it will, instead of going from left to right, we want to go it from top to bottom. And we have a string. As you see, you, the string is the first one. So we want to place this. First, we want to place this one here, and then the next here and then the next and so on. So that's why we use it uh, the flex direction column. 
let's give it a background like a wooden color like five B something like that yeah that looks pretty good I think and then let's give it a width of hundred percent so it fills the whole browser window and let's give it a height of let's start with 300 pixels this is something we'll add later so we can change the height and everything will adapt um, and then let's just move it down a little bit give it a margin top uh, what should that be like let's give it 50 pixels let's save that and then go to our browser and let's have a look and let's see if we can find it it's right here so we can see the fretboard now let's let's do something about the string so let's target the string and let's give it a width of 100 percent as well because we want it to span all the way from the beginning to the end so width 100 percent and let's give it a height of 100 percent as well and Let's display that one as flex as well, because we need to have a lot of different frets inside of them. So display flex. We're going to need to place the dots inside of this later on. So we're going to use absolute positioning for that. So I'm going to say position relative here. So I'm going to use a pseudo element on the string to, to actually show the string. So I'm going to type out string, class string, and then that will be before the before element. This is the one I will use for displaying the string. So we need, before because it's a before element, we need to give it a content. It's going to be empty though. So just an empty string here. And I'm going to give it a width of 100% as well. And let's set the height to 10, 10 pixels. So that is the thickness of the string. And we need to give it a background. And let's let's see what we can give it. it I would like it to look pretty good. Um, let's give it a background of a linear gradient. So it kind of looks like a string. And let's give it this color and this color. And let's give it a box shadow. Like 76 pixels. And I'll explain to you why I give it 76 pixels to begin with here. Um, and let's give it a three pixel here and blur 10 pixels something like this and let's give it a color and the color should be a darker version of the fretboard so that's a brownish color so that's going to be eight zero six two three three and as you can see i saved it right now and you can see some strings show up over here and the reason i have the 76 pixel uh, I wanted to begin on the x-axis 76 pixels in is because I don't want to have a shadow on the first or actually on fret number zero but you will see that in just a moment let's um, I just want to make sure that this one is on top of everything else so I'm gonna do a Z index right now it doesn't really matter but I'm just gonna give it Z index of one um, but we're gonna need a lot of different elements to um, display and we're gonna to have to control the index so we can we are sure that we can see them at all times then I want to push the string down a little bit so I'm just gonna go and set the position to absolute absolute and that's why we set the position to relative up here so we can push down the string a little bit let's push it down let's say 22 pixels from the top okay it looks pretty good we have something that kinda looks like a fretboard we can see the strings and the fretboard 
but we don't have any frets yet. So it's basically just a board without frets, so it's not a fretboard. But we're going to add the, the frets in the next video, and we'll see what we can do with the, the fret number zero here, because that's going to be a bit different than the other frets. So join me in the next video.